This week in iPixel Skyblock, a few things happened and in this video, I'll be covering most of them. Also, we gained over a thousand subs last week, meaning we only need 3800 more subs to reach 30k. So please sub, I wanna hit 30k before April 14th. Also at 30k, I'll be giving away a Terminator. The admins added a bunch of new pets. First, we've got the mammoth, obtained from the tusk fossil, and it's mostly geared towards the glacial caves because of its cold resistance and its woolly coat ability that nullifies the cold that you'd usually gain by getting hit by a mob. The second ability makes it pretty decent for magic find. Not better than the black cat though, because you'd literally need 3700 fortune for this to be better. And the final ability gives you some extra mining fortune. Tune. But I've done a few mineshaft runs, and the highest number of corpses I've seen is 3. Equivalent to around 90 fortunes. Keta is better though. But combining the perks along with the cold resistance makes it really decent for the glacial caves. Next, we've got the mole obtained from the claw fossil, which is basically geared towards grinding nucleus runs. And its first ability is god tier in my opinion. Because yesterday I literally spent 10 minutes looking for a single golden hammer. The professor asking for one less part is really good, and its third ability that allows you to gain extra gemstones. Next, from the ugly fossil, you've got the goblin pet, which might be good for Iron Man because of the egg thing. And the pickpocket ability would have been cool when goblin AF king was a thing, but nowadays it's eh. Maybe the king scent ability is good for people trying to do back to back runs, but you'll probably have a mole or armadillo active for most of the run. Next, from the club fossil, we've got the Ankylosaurus. And I'll be honest with you, most of its abilities are trash. There's also this ability, giving you a 50% buff to your last stand and lifeline. So basically, let's say you have full lifeline X armor and equipment. It is a steel touch. Cause I tried it. And even with max lifeline, the Ankylosaurus with lifeline is worse compared to a lion with lifeline. Next, from the spine fossil, we have the Spinosaurus, which gives the second most sea creature chance, outclassed by the penguin, and the second most fishing speed, outclassed by the flying fish. Also, the second ability is trash, the swap pets. Next, from the web fossil, we've got the penguin, that gives the most sea creature chance. It also seems we'll have some glacial fishing. Also, it could be a new lava fishing meta because it doesn't lose any speed when underground. Next, we've got the footprint fossil. Just a sec. Next, we've got the footprint fossil that can be used to create the T-Rex pet, giving you a 100% damage boost if you're within one and a half blocks from the target. And yeah, I tested it and one and a half blocks is literally nothing. You have to be this close to hit a mob and deal damage comparable to a lion. I mean, the DPS is better because ferocity but it's still trash it could be a new kudra meta though because it's the new best pet for ferocity if you use a minos relic the other changes are that they buffed the pendant to give pristine in the glacite mineshafts. The glacite maniacs now take more damage from pickaxes and significantly less damage from other weapons. Also, this scales based on the breaking power of your drill. The onyx also gives crit damage now. Also, it seems the type of mineshaft you are spawned in depends on the block you were mining, and there are 20 different variants. Also, thanks to Derelius for telling me this, but it seems you can do commissions on the new island to gain more. XP compared to the crystal hollows and you also get an extra 80k heart of the mountain XP from fossils but you'll still need heart of the mountain 7 to enter. Now for some news on the main server, players could still heal while taking damage at very high defense, but that's been fixed, I think. You could previously spawn more pests than intended, and pests would still spawn in unclean plots, but that's been fixed. Also, you could somehow recombobulate stacked items and delete them. And yeah, everyone's asking about foraging instead. There were also a few funny things in the subreddit. In the Skyblock animation video, apart from the guy blatantly scaffolding, he was also duping. Because the regular Skyblock island tree has 7 logs. You hate to say it. Some guy lost 74 mil by insta buying grand experience portals. You hate to say it. Also turns out infinite quiver doesn't work if you sneak. Huh? You hate to see it. This guy made a heart of the mountain tree thing. Yes, I understand what that is. You hate to see it. Clovis has a 10 billion 
and carrots but that's not the insane part it seems he did it with the same hoe also this guy had diamond in the wheat collection by farming you guessed it sugar cane piece up 30k before april 14th why if you also really smile and say thank you for this movie like this you know if you want any more money 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 you want any more money